Okay, let's talk about the hook. Okay, now, why am I sitting down? Huh? All right, because what I want you to do is isolate the hook. Okay, use these drills, use these exercises for you to um, understand the hook, right? And the value of the hook and the and and the ability to double hook, change the hook direction from from up here to down here. Um, what I want you to do while you're sitting in a chair is so you don't depend on your footwork to throw the hook. You're depending on the isolation of your upper torso. So if you're sitting down, then you can understand when you're, when you're here and you throw a hook, bang, that if you go beyond the hit zone, which is the center, bang, that it feels awkward because with your knees, you compensate and your footwork, you compensate for the movement, whichever way you're hooking, right or left. And, and, and it gives you a false sense of a hook. What I want you to do is make sure that your hook is strong, is solid, and and it only hits to the to the point of your target. And once you hit to the point of your target, then you can change it to another hit or prior to that. And, and what I'm trying to have you understand is that you maintain this ability to center your hit to the zone, not go beyond not go this way, not throw your body off, off kilter. Huh? So when you're doing a hook and you're sitting down and you go, boom, it's okay, boom, you could do the hook, bang, make the distance from here to here to here, whatever the hook you want it to be, or from here, you make the hook here, you change it up into here. But now, if you go beyond the center while you're sitting down, <coughs> It's a struggle and you can feel your arms, your body, your shoulders go beyond the, the, the distance that you need to go to obviously change the direction of the hook. So if you're hooking bang and then bang, and we will do it standing up later, but understand that if you could do it here, boom, boom, you can understand the value of not going so far, not going so far over, not going so far up, and this and this. Because your your chair kind of centers you. Your chair kind of puts you into a balanced zone where you don't go beyond. You don't want to go beyond with your hook because once you go beyond from this point to this point of the hook is weak. And from that point to this point is a hole for your opponent. Hmm? Once you pass it with the hook, your arm and the strength to get over and to, to, to retaliate with the other hand or to rechange this or to move your body, it's, it gets very complicated. What you want to do is keep it simple. Hmm? Keep it simple. You'll do it quickly. But that's not what I want you to get out of this. What I want you to get out of this is, yeah, you can hook, boom, double hook, bang, bang, but using the circles of the hook, bang, crack, boom, boom, and then boom, 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 boom. And every time you do it, this changes. See the hook? Boom, 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 boom. But what I want you to do is to take this idea, not take what I did, not what I've done, but take this idea and expand upon it. You're the martial artist. You're the one with the infinite wisdom of, of creativeness, innovation. You make the design of the exercises yours. There's so many things you can do sitting down. Bang, bang. And it keeps your balance here. Boom, boom. And watch the twist of the hand. And you come in, bang, bang, bang. Hmm? Understand this, realize it, and, and expand upon it. Okay? Don't copy me. I don't want you to copy me.
I want you to be you. I want you to make your students better.